The rise of Toyota into the minds of the American driving public, particularly the younger generation, wasn't an overnight exercise. It took decades. But they did it with models like the Corolla, the Celica, and the Supra. The Supra and the Celica died out. But with the resurgence of the performance car, Toyota is clawing its way back. A new Supra is rumored to be coming, and let's not kid ourselves, it's coming. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. We truly hope you like what we bring you, so favorite us or subscribe. We enjoy interacting with you. The Japanese auto manufacturing industry took a huge hit with the massive earthquake in March. It slowed production of all of its vehicles to a crawl. But resilience is something that the Japanese are used to and are very, very good at. The Lexus LFA came onto the market and stunned the sports car world, but at a hefty price. Very few people would ever own this massively fast and dreamlike car. The FT86 concept was introduced a few years ago, and it's now headed for production, a reasonably priced sports car for the youth market. The gap left is the Toyota Super Level car that had been abandoned in 2002. Toyota knew it needed this mid-level sports car, and so now the rumors are floating that that's coming. But what's it going to be? What's it going to look like? The FTHS concept was rolled in front of the public in 2007 as a hybrid sports car, the hybrid part being all the rage these days. The concept had bold futuristic looks that had everybody talking about a 2011 debut. That didn't happen, but the idea has resurfaced. Supposedly an unofficial group is developing a new Super to fill this hole in the lineup. That's not unusual. Remember the BMW M5? BMW's management didn't even know the motorsport division was building it. The rest is history. And if history is any barometer, the rumor is more than rumor. They're developing it, and it may or may not be introduced as a hybrid. The FTHS is one car everybody's looking at as a benchmark to become the new Supra. Will it look like what you've been watching here? Doubtful. It won't be exactly like this, and it'll probably share design language with the LFA and the FT86. If the new car is the size and general shape of the FTHS concept, and it comes with a V6 twin turbo, that's all most people really need or they really care about. Toyota needs a hit, and it needs a good one. There's no doubt that this coupled with the FT86 would do just that. For The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.